got a secret. I see dead people. Hey there, writers. So, this is going to be the end of the speedometer videos. Yay! I believe this is the fifth and final one. <laughs> actually uh, warm enough for me to be able to stand going out riding. I got long johns on too, so that helps me out. But as you can tell from my phone and from my uh, and from the speedometer, it now matches up. My inaugural ride today showed that it didn't. So I had to zero the speedometer back out go to its original settings and that actually took care of the problem. Just seen it earlier. Phone said 38 miles an hour and speedometer said 11. That was funny. But yes, it is finally over and done with. So I am very happy. I'm actually very happy that I'll be able to go on a ride too. Only a short ride though. Considering. It's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so sun's going to end up uh, going down soon. It'll start cooling off is usually when it does that. About 4, 4.30, maybe 5 o'clock. Gotta say, very happy that this is finally over with on this. But it's a learning experience, you know? <sighs> yes, very happy. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the tack to work the way that I wanted it to. I think there's a specific hookup that you gotta do. I gotta check with uh, maybe the dealership, see what's going on. only went out riding today either. Got held up with uh, working on my mother-in-law's car today so I couldn't take the bike on a test drive as early as I wanted it to. Hey, it's a fix her car problem but as I was uh, walking out of her house I noticed that the transmission was full. <laughs> like one of her lines broke on the car. Like oh great it went problem to another. It's a 98 Honda Civic LX sucker has less than 100,000 miles on it because she'd only drive it to work or go grocery shopping with it. That yes, uh, spinner is fixed. So that's one problem down. It. So I'm very happy. Sun's kind of blind to me. Don't have my uh, sunglasses on. Should have gone with the dark tints on this. Oh well, it is what it is. And I think my camera's off too. <sighs> Not one thing, it's another with me. There we go. Yes, speedometer's done. Makes me very happy. The weird thing on this though, it does it at the last high speed and then it drops down, so it's not very accurate when it comes to that. And it is what it is.
Yeah, one of the other projects I want to do on this is uh, give it dual uh, calipers in the front. There we go. If you notice that I had to do some uh, change up on here, I had to put bolts there instead. Luckily, I had those in my uh, garage because for some reason it wasn't clamping down the way that it was supposed to with that space. I mean, I could have thinned it out, but I didn't want to. So I guess I didn't need to cut the tabs off of that after all. Just needed to go with longer bolts, and that would have been good. Hello, V. Huh. Nice slow ride. Just to get this out of my system at least. I've been very depressed lately. Ah, damn. I think it's because of the weather. I always do that. Winter time, cooped up inside, COVID happening. I'd like to get rid of that uh, fuel indicator. Like I said er, in one of my earlier videos. Did I release it? Yeah. Yes, I did release it. In one of my earlier videos. Uh, I think I'll tap into the fuel line here. As you can see, it's already down. things I might do is uh, replace the handlebars on here I just don't like the way that it sits it just feels off <laughs> do some adjustment to the mirrors I think it's showing a little bit too much arm on my left. Oh well, that's all a part of the thing. All part of owning a motorcycle, I guess. Food in the air. Uh, 
Yep, so this is the fifth and final video of the speedometer. After that, I'm not exactly too sure what I'm going to do next. If you uh, like this video, go ahead and click that like. Go ahead and subscribe. And if you like to be notified, go ahead and click that bell icon and be notified of all my uh, all the videos that I release. And as always, I'm Wild Rider. Ride safe, and I'll see you in the next ride.